down sort of contest, but how pleasing is it to come away with a win in a really tight game? Yeah, it's really pleasing. I think really pleasing. I mean, I've just I've just spent some time in the in the rooms with coaching Royal Dales with David Parkin, the coach that I've played under, which is a long, long time ago, and you know, he understands exactly what it's like to win those types of games. And, uh, you know, you, you don't necessarily play well. Credit to the opposition for making us play badly after our last performance. And, but you have to win, you know, and that gets us in a strong position and gives us an opportunity to, to keep advancing. Obviously, really important from, from a resilience point of view, but more importantly for us in the season that's so tight, that's going to make the difference between qualifying higher or, or lower. And, you know, right now we're nearly, I think we're nearly in that position of qualified. I'm not sure if we're exactly there, but um, it makes a big difference. You know, you reflect on close games. I think I heard last night when I was watching the footy that Collingwood have won 18 games by less than six points over a two or three year period. It does make a difference. I think we were untidy at the start of the game. I think we started off um, potentially playing like we were still last week a little bit, and that can happen after a performance that we put up. Because, as I said last week, they're, they're just performances out of the box a little bit. You don't expect that to be the case, but as a player, I imagine sometimes you want to go back out there and say, well, this is what happened last week, this is the way it should be. But Melbourne um, certainly was ready for that, and they went after us. And credit where credit's due, they made it a tough slog for us. But we got there in the end. Handy. Oh, he's had a massive year. I mean, he's been unbelievable for a third-year player. He's damn talented. It's tough. He plays footy in everything you want him to. He plays it the right way, and you know, and sometimes his emotions can boil over. But I love the way he plays footy. He um, he's got a spirit in him that says I'm not going to lose, and I think that's what we're building through that group of midfielders. That they um, that the resilience comes from a, a few people who. Just want to make sure that we get over the line. And I think tonight he was super in the last quarter. You don't handcuff great players, I don't think. I think you let them make decisions that they need to make at the right time, and the team, the team trusts them a little bit. And I think we have to be prepared to trust some players because they don't always get it right. They make some mistakes, um, trying to do the right thing more often than not. But I think ultimately, um, you know, you've got to let them play. I don't think it was that bad. I think we had a bad game, but I don't think it was that bad. But I think we, I don't know whether maybe once we may have been out of the eight at one point in the year. And I think we've actually been pretty consistent through the year. We had a patch where it wasn't great, and this patch we're in now is six of six or seven or something. I think you know it's it's been a pretty tough season for every team this year. Every team has had times where it hasn't been perfect, but most of the teams who are going to get there have most of the time played okay. Yeah, he's earned his spot in the team really well and he's been happy to play a role for us. And, um, you know, he, he takes his moments and tonight he did that again. He was probably a little bit stiff that he didn't set up another goal for us with uh, the one that just got over the, the line. So I'm really, really pleased and proud of Quinton for hanging in there and the resilience that he showed to um, contribute to our team at the moment. Yep. Yeah, he's ruled out with concussion, so he'll go into that. So we'll take no chances with Todd. We'll look after him really well. Unfortunately, he's missed a few weeks now with his injury. And this is just part of football these days. You've just got to be so, so careful with him and look after him well, and, and we'll do that with Todd. Yeah, I thought, I thought Todd was going pretty well out there tonight in a, in a role that we need him to play a little bit higher up the ground because I think the two big boys have provided us good targets. And not that they always mark it, but they, they create a, a real contest for us. And you know, Todd was playing slightly different today, playing a role that Mitch has been able to play for us. So. Yeah, it's probably a week, maybe two. We won't take a chance with him. But it was a really, really small quad low down, so it's not a massive one, but it's one that you've just got to respect because it happened on Wednesday. So we won't make any decisions until probably very late next week. Yeah, he got a we copped that whack in the in the contest where he I think he got pulled down and landed badly on his buttocks, and uh, that that slowed him up for a few minutes. He's a bloody important player for us, so we win some big contests. All good, thank you.